All right, everybody. So today I just want to bring up this Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon 3D printer. Okay, if you're looking for a 3D printer, these things are a little bit on the higher end of the price range. It's a little dirty down there, but not bad. But these things, I tell you what, you got the screen here, you got this AMS setup up here, holds four different filaments, you got PLA in this one. It's getting dirty too. I'm gonna have to uh, change it up. You're not actually supposed to run cardboard in these, but I have been. But this is an, uh, this middle one, it's a support filament. As you guys can see with this print I got going right now, can't exactly tell you what it is. But what's cool, there's a camera back here. So right off my phone, I can watch this print all day. I can send a slice file from my laptop over here straight to it. Never have to plug anything into it. This thing is awesome. All right, we're gonna move over to my table real quick. All right, at my table, I got a little printed piece here. It's not extremely perfect, but I tell you what, I don't even have this thing on the finest setting. Like this is just standard print settings, and this is the quality of product you get. I get, a, I dropped it earlier. I got it a little dirty, but uh, yeah, this is the quality you get. This thing, very strong solid can't tell you what this is but uh yeah that's it okay right so i got this big plastic piece here that i just couldn't bring myself to throw away why i don't know but i pulled this out of the printer okay it comes shipped with this and another piece and a bunch of foam where it can't move so setup on this printer is literally removing stuff that's it like Okay, so I have another printer as well. Uh, it's a cheaper printer. It's the longer LK5. Thing's got a huge build volume, but it was like 300 bucks. So, of course, I can't get good prints out of it. I can get some now and then, but not many. I've had to work on that thing I don't know how many times. I've had to build it when I first got it. Again, that's why I say what's amazing about this thing is you you just take stuff apart to set this thing up. You don't build anything. You don't put anything together, really. It's all done for you already. So, so let me transition again. I also, if anybody knows this right here, I got one of the Prusia uh, Minis and was very unimpressed with it. In fact, I like my longer LK5 over the Prusia Mini. So... That being said, we're going to transition one more I've time. I've got this little card here. It's a phone holder, okay? A couple of moving pieces on it. It doesn't really look that fancy, huh? Well, let me tell you something about this. This is printed flat just like this. The joints are already made into it. So once this thing's printed, the pivot points and all, the joints, they're already there. It prints the joints and everything in place. Now... I knew you could do that with 3D printing and all, but I've never been able to accomplish it. Not with the printers I had. Like I said, that was the longer and the uh, Prusia. In fact, the Prusia, I've been trying to get my money back on it, send it back to them because it was, I don't know, maybe I just got a bad one, but it was hot garbage from the beginning. But yeah, that right there, it's amazing. Like I said, I know people can do this with their printers and everything, but I haven't had a printer that could do it. So back to this right here. This thing, I mean, it is so technically advanced, technologically advanced. I, uh, dude, I can't even uh, imagine. I actually thought it was messing up at one time. Get rid of my flash real quick. There we go. I thought it was messing up because here in the back, it's actually got an, uh, a nozzle cleaner and everything. And... If we go around to the back of it, oh, there's none there right now. I cleaned them out, but I keep a little paper plate over here. But when it changes out filament, it dumps these little things. Doesn't keep them in the printer or anything. No, it spits them right out the back. So I have to get a little tray or something. I know you can print one out even to go back there and catch those. Right now, I've just been kind of raking them from the back and throwing them in here. Then walk over to the garbage can and just dump them in. As you can see, I have a lot down in there. I've been printing a lot. But anyway, yeah, this thing, 
in my opinion, it's expensive, but it is well worth the money. It, this thing, literally, it's set up and go. And set up's easy as hell. Literally taking stuff apart. And nothing else. I might have to unbind some spools every now and then, but that was mainly been the spools being crossed and things like that. The filament being crossed on the spools. It hasn't been the printer's fault. So... There you go. If anybody's looking for a printer, I highly recommend this expensive guy right here. Anyway, thanks for watching.